But right now we're going to go out and send it to Amanda with our first local. Thanks, Adam. That's right. I hope you got a chance to enjoy the beautiful weather out there today. I know one of my classes was held outdoors, and it was such a nice break from the rain that we saw over the weekend and the cooler temperatures that stuck around for so long. Today, we had a high of 75 degrees, just shy of our normal, so our temperatures are creeping back up there as we move further and further into March, and pretty soon April will be here before you know it. Our low today was 40, and that is a bit lower than normal, and that's due to radiational cooling, which I'll explain to you in just a second, because we're going to see that again over the next couple of nights. Temperatures outside right now, 74, just shy of that high. High temperatures are coming in later in the day with daylight savings time changes. Our dew point is 36. Now, the dew point is fairly far away from our temperature, and that is a good indication of how dry it is outside. There is high pressure dominating our area for the next couple of days, and you saw our humidity is very low at just 25%. High temperatures across the region, current temperatures, excuse me, 74 in Tallahassee, as I just mentioned. Tallahassee fairly warm compared to everyone else with 66 in Perry, and over to our west, 73 in Crestview and Mariana. Now, those dew points are also a good indication of how cool we are going to get in the overnight hours. Current dew points right now, 36 in Tallahassee. Relatively, everyone's seeing about the same dew points. Now, it's very rare that our low temperature will be below the dew point. So expect temperatures this evening to cl climb down just into about the lower 40s. We won't get much lower than that. And this is in part why all of this dry air over our region is indicated by the orange and red colors. And you can see it's just sitting over the state of Florida. That low pressure has moved out of our area and left us with Clear skies, wall-to-wall -wall clear skies there, absolutely gorgeous day, sunshine, and that will be sticking around. So, our look ahead, we have this high pressure, and overnight we're going to be clear and mild. Radiational cooling means we don't have that blanket of clouds to keep us warm in the overnight hours, allowing temperatures to dip down into those low 40s when our normal is the low 50s, so it will be a lot cooler. High pressure is going to hold back our clouds again for tomorrow and warm us up drastically. We're talking climbing into the 80s and possibly mid 80s later this week. So tomorrow will be dry, sunny, and warm. No scarves, no jackets. We are done with that, I believe, for spring. Tonight we're going to hit 43 degrees, low 40s, a little cooler to a little closer to the coast. It's going to be just a little bit warmer due to the sea breeze and consequently cooler tomorrow is for your high temperature. And 79. We're getting very close to 80 and I just want to show you 80 is going to be creeping back into our forecast by the time we hit Thursday, 83 degrees, and Friday, 84 degrees, just getting warmer and warmer. Those rain chances don't come back into the forecast until Sunday and Monday, but it should be very, very light rain. We're only expecting a few drizzles. And for now, we're going to go ahead and widen it out just a little bit, and Kevin's going to take a look at the southeast.